So do you have to beat all the expeditions on tier 15 to unlock Eye of the Storm? I think that's how it works. Most goaded thing in Outriders is the server size. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That distance. Look at me, Charles. The freaking force. Look at the Grim Merrill going in. Not the boy Grim Merrill, car. Huh? Cold snap, drop that. Yeah. Is there a crisp at the mouth? Come on, eat it down her quick, quick, quick. Sweet. I didn't think that putting cryo on the blighted turret would be a good idea. But I'm starting to think otherwise. What's up, Miles? What's up, man? Going oh, pretty good, man. Trying to beat the, our first Tier 12 expedition so far, dude. Tier 12 has definitely been, uh, like, the, a big brick wall. Like, I feel like whenever you get to tier, uh, tier 12 is when shit starts to get, like, really difficult. So I decided to record it. Because <laughs> uh, I've been getting slapped up in these Tier 12 expeditions, bro. No cap. Oh, dude, yeah, that blighted cryo turret puts in work. Can't even sleep on it.
They're right there. I'm just gonna pelt you your, your your existence with some lead. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling. Can you take fucking cover where I tell you to fucking take cover? Jesus Christ! I forgot the cover system, but in this game, no cap. I love. Freeze you, yep. I might need to make a video on the Winter Blast mod. Jack, you think I should make a video on the Winter Blast mod, bro, telling all Technomancers to get it? I think I should, dude. Oh, what's up, Emo? I'm a, my bad, bro. I'm kind of focused here. When I get the game, I'm going to play as a Technomancer. Do it, bro. It's so much fun. I haven't got the blinded turret yet. How does it compare to the cryo turret? So, Eddie, um, I have not taken the blinded turret off since I got it. And there's a mod that also allows it to shoot cryo. I never thought that I that putting cryo on a blinded turret would be good because you already have a cryo turret. But it actually is becoming very, uh, very useful in, in showing what it can do and why um, that mod actually exists. Because like it, like it shoots the cryo the same way which it showed uh, it shots uh, English is hard it, it would shoot the toxic so basically what that means is that you're gonna be able to uh, freeze things in a wider uh, like range basically right, I'm just gonna throw that over there He's resisting.
Dude, end game, you have got to spec into armor. It's just not even funny. Like, that is such a thing. Gonna pump your. There we go. Freeze you, dude. These alphas, you gotta be careful with them. This is exactly why I have the cryo turret, or the blighted cryo turret, rather. I also got things like cold snap. Run, homie. Also, those sticks right there can be vi There you go. Very annoying. They just proved my point. Oh, I also like to try and get rid of them. Because they can be super toxic. Pun not intended. So the Blood Brothers should be dead. You should be dead. And then you should be dead. Is that it? If we go slow. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Dude, this. This. Tier 12, man. This is where the shit gets ridiculous. So we just oh. unlocked 13, right? Uh. Like, tier 12. That's where shit gets serious, you guys. Oh, let's go open up. Our uh, pod, collect our loot real quick. I'm going to show you all the setup and stuff. Uh, it's definitely changed. Uh, I don't want to say like quite a bit, but we still got the same core. But uh, for the mods that we used up until or up until now through tier 11, uh, I had to change it up big time for uh, tier 12. And we got a legendary. Yes. Let's go, boys. Yeah, uh, it can get pretty insane. So uh, let's go ahead and collect all the loot real quick. Uh, let's see what legendary we got. The Roaring Umbra. That's a new one, so uh, we'll be doing a video on that puppy real soon. Uh, let's go ahead and go over our setup real quick. Go over the mod and stuff like that. Oh, it's a... <gasps> oh, look at this. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so first off, the mods, right? Honestly, the more I've played, the more you get into the end game, bro, the more you're going to realize that you're going to need armor, right? So we have actually quite a, diff a good amount of armor mods. Uh, we also have uh, turning the blighted turret into a cryo turret. I didn't think that'd actually be very useful, uh, but in tier 12, bro, when sh sh shit starts getting handy, being able to freeze as many enemies as you can, allowing them to not attack you while you pelt them with bullets is very, very convenient and very useful. Also, we got plate dodge on here, which is very nice to give us armor just uh, for rolling, which uh, you're going to be doing a lot. Um, here's our chest piece, um, and honestly, the tier one mod for this is really not that useful. I uh, I found, but it's mainly good because we got uh, emergency stance. Now, in the other videos, I was using the forty percent, but I realized that we never even reload or switch weapons whenever we're using blighter rounds, so that perk's kind of irrelevant. Um, I couldn't, you can't change two mods, so I had to go with what I had, and I was like, you know what? I definitely want emergency stance, just because whenever you get low and you pop that golem stuff and you have armor, you're gonna not gonna be taking that much damage, and especially as a technomancer, you can easily get your life steal and get back to full health relatively quick. Um, and then we got the same stuff here. We got critical stacks of uh, for anomaly power, uh, and then we also have the spare maga blood rounds, which is very nice. And then we also have uh, assault weapon damage, and then uh, thirty percent extra, or the ability to give bullets back whenever you kill things uh with 
uh, your blighter rounds, which is very, very nice. And then we got our boots that give us 30% crit damage with the blighter rounds, and then armor and resistance, which is very, very useful. I also did change up our skill tree a little bit. I'm still going to make a full-fledged build video whenever I get to uh, tier 15, do a, tier, a couple tier 15 um, expeditions and stuff like that. But uh, here's what we got so far. So we do got um, a, a little bit of anomaly power. Obviously, uh, exposing toxin and then mark for execution are very, very good to have uh, whenever you're doing a blighter round setup. So, um, and then we also uh, have assault master. We do have grand amplification for some extra anomaly power, which is pretty nice. And then uh, for the most part, everything else is basically the same. Anyways, though, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Tier 12 is definitely where shit gets hard, and you really, really got to start mid-maxing. Uh, anyways, though, guys, uh, with that all stuff being said out the way, hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.